Good evening. Lord Scarman's report on the Brixton riots has been welcomed by the government, praised by the opposition, criticised by the local authority involved as a bitter disappointment, and dismissed by one black community leader as inadequate. Yet, for better or worse, it is now the official text for interpreting, judging, and trying to prevent a repetition of the summer riots in the nation's major cities. So how well judged are its recommendations for the government, for police, and for society? We'll be devoting most of Newsnight to these questions, which I'll be discussing with Timothy Raisin, Minister of State of the Home Office, Roy Hattersley, Shadow Home Secretary, Paul Boateng, Chairman of the GLC's Police Committee, Peter Tucker of the Commission for Racial Equality, Barry Payne, Chief Constable of Kent, and John Clare, the BBC's Home Affairs Correspondent. Abroad tonight, the news is full of summits. The United States says there could be a summit conference with Russia next year if there's enough progress in the arms reduction talks. But a summit meeting of Arab leaders in the Middle East broke down today only hours after it began. At home, a vital reselection meeting for London Labour MP George Cunningham, who faces two challenges from the left. We'll be getting the result. First, though, the Scarman Report, which consists of an account of the riots, an analysis of why they happened, a judicious apportionment of the blame, and a package of recommendations that Lord Scarman described himself as a suitcase containing a whole lot of necessary effects for civilised life. Uh, if you want the whole of civilised life, he said today, you have to take everything out and put it in the wardrobe. A typically deft metaphor with Lord Scarman's characteristic light touch. But one more... <laughs> Thank you.